Hello, today I'm reviewing something else I got from Amazon. It's from CSNL. It is a car mount. This is a suction cup car mount. Um, original pr product, a 360 degree rotation, so you can record videos, selfies. I'm using one right now. Got another one. I'm using one right now. And it also has a built-in sensor, detects phone, and activates grip. Now, you've seen many products like this on Amazon, but this one is one of the best ones you can get. It's by CNSL Cool and Smart Life. So you need the iPhone 8 and higher, and the Galaxy Note 5, I believe, and higher, and the Galaxy S6 and higher to get it to wirelessly charge your phone. Um, otherwise, I believe it has, like, phone... No, well, maybe it doesn't have it. But it requires um, RFID and wireless charging batteries. Uh, genuine original patented products, counterfeiting, not allowed. Uh, input voltage is 5V equals 2A slash 9V equals 1.67A. Um, working frequency is 110 to 205 kilohertz. And power conversion is 65% to 83%. So you're not getting 100% of your power from your car battery. You're getting... 65 to 83 percent because it does have to power the device as well on the sensor the wireless car charger mount is produced by cnsl it has subverted the traditional designs of a phone car holder now what i saw in the ad for this was that you could attach it to your dash but it never mentioned onto your window but like your dash dash the little hard part not the glass part of your window but like just the dash but then there were people that posted pictures of it on their window as well and if that works that well on both the dash and the window, if you're making videos, if you're making movie scenes, driving car scenes, you can have one phone on your back and one phone over here on the driver's seat to keep the other one out of frame. And you can film your car scenes easier, get an external microphone like I'm wearing right now, but you can't see it. And you can probably hear me super clearly. And you can, this just revolutionizes um, car vlogs, car scenes and movies and videos if you're doing independent films. It just revolutionizes everything. Uh, instructions for use in case you don't have it will be well, I guess my phone doesn't want to I guess my phone doesn't want to like maybe you can pause it and read that it doesn't want to focus for some reason um, but let's open this up it's a nice box very nice packaging I really really like the packaging on this I'm always buying car mounts. I bought one for my sister. I bought one for my mother. I bought another charger for my cousin um, with the mount and stuff. And I have one myself that I'm using right now to record this video with. Whoa, a lot of stuff. It comes with a lot of stuff. It does come with what appears to be a USB-C charger cable, which I believe plugs into the USB of your phone slot if it's like the others I've seen. Wrapped up stand. It looks like a GoPro stand. It's kind of cool how just car scenes used to be so difficult back in the day, and now you can just... Now you can pretty much just do whatever you want with car stuff. It's like, yeah, you can film car scenes so easily now. Back in the day, we struggled. We struggled so much back in the day. Snap it on like that. Just unscrew it to the very end and then push it in, snap it, and then that's how you lock it. Twist it back on. This one makes me curious. Makes me really curious about this. This looks like the vent holder. Oh, so it has a vent holder with it. Push it in and then you put it in your vent and you can use a vent holder on it. Wow. That is a two for one product right there. I didn't know that it came with a vent holder. You have a one year warranty the charge cable, and you can adjust this. Very convenient for car videos, photography, if you want to insurance, whatever you want to use it for. Pull that off, and I'm wondering, button. So it doesn't have, unlike the other one, well yeah it does, 
Unlike the other one, it doesn't have multiple ports. It just has a USB-C. Which is, I'm curious about how that works on iPhones, if it just converts it. And here we go. Wow, and then you flip the little switch, which you probably can't see because I'm too close. I'm actually really not that, there you go. You flip this little switch. It's even hard without the switch flick. You flick it forward until it locks. This thing is heavy duty, dude. So basically there it is. It's a really, really long one, really long. And I don't have my external microphone on anymore. Okay, I got stopped by the UPS dude, very young dude. Um, tried to fit the box to the window. Now I'm gonna do a sort of rough drive test. See how shaky this thing gets. Usually the front camera on the iPhone is okay. It's pretty stable, even though it doesn't have the stabilizer. It's usually okay. It looks way better than, uh, did I say the front? Yeah, the front facing. The back camera with the stabilizer looks like crap usually when I use these kind of products. Um, because the iPhone stabilizer makes every jitter like visible. A lot of traffic in this neighborhood today. A lot of traffic in this neighborhood today. And when I get up to the stop sign, I'm going about 35. 